All right, so I recently had a user email me with a request. Uh, it seemed like a pretty simple request, and I'm sure that you can find it on um, Apple's site, but I decided to go ahead and make a really quick video. Uh, it's nothing very hard. But basically, the user just wanted to know how can they view their the applications that they've purchased, and will they be charged again if they are if they've already purchased their application from the App Store? So if they've officially purchased it from the App Store, will you be charged again? <clears throat> and the answer is no. You should get a message on your iPhone that will tell you, you know, if you have uh, purchased it, and if so, it'll tell you that it's free to download again, which I'll show you that in just a moment. But to check your purchase history, what you want to do is you want to go and uh, go ahead and launch iTunes on your computer, and then you want to go to store. Once you go into store, you want to uh, sign in. Now I'm already signed in, so I don't have to. I won't have to sign in. But in your case, you might have may have to hit sign in, and then you'll see a little window like this that comes up, and it asks you to go ahead and type in <clears throat> your password, your ID and password. So you would sign in, and we'll just take a moment to load, and then you'll see all of your information listed, and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to purchase history. All right, and as you can clearly see, here is the purchase history. Um, you can choose next. You can change the date uh, to jump to a part in the purchase history. But this will basically show you all of your purchases that you've done. Okay. <clears throat> now, if the issue is that you just accidentally deleted the application, but you purchased the app, but you had already purchased the application once before, there's a real easy way to fix this. If you have access to iTunes on your computer. You can just connect your iPhone to your computer, uh, open up iTunes, and then you'll see your uh, iPhone listed over here on the left. So you'll choose that. You'll choose apps. <clears throat> and then once you choose your apps, you can see here's a list of all the applications that you have. Um, and ones that you've purchased in the past. Now the only way these go away are if you actually delete them. So if you actually delete the app, then it removes it from your iTunes library and you won't be able to see it here. <clears throat> You'll be able to still re-download it from the App Store and you shouldn't be charged, but you won't be able to reinstall it from your computer if you've deleted it from iTunes. If you have not deleted the application from iTunes, then you can come back into your iTunes and you can just check mark the app that you want and then hit sync down here and it will go ahead and it will install it back to your iPhone okay um, <clears throat> so uh, that's how you get them back on your device if you still have the application in your iTunes that's how you get it back connect your iPhone go into iTunes go to your apps check the one you want hit sync and it'll re-add it okay now let's say you don't have it here or let's say you're not near your computer to reinstall it what do you do? Well, what you want to do is on your iPhone, you want to go into the App Store, and you can see here's Oregon Trail. Hit Buy Now. Now, usually this is where it'll prompt you for your password. I've already entered my password, so that's why it's not asking for it. But as you can clearly see, it tells you very clearly you've already purchased this item. To download it again for free, click OK. You can update this software application for free. Would you like to update? You hit OK. It will automatically install to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and you will not be charged for it again. If you do not want to do that, you can just hit Cancel. So pretty much that's what you'll see if you've already purchased the application. You'll see that pop up on the screen of your iPhone. So I hope this helps you guys uh, get an idea of how to view your past purchases in, in iTunes, how to reinstall the applications to your iPhone via iTunes, and also how to tell on your iPhone if you've already purchased the application because you'll see the little pop-up come up. If you have any questions, comments, please let us know. We'll be happy to return a message to you. This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com. Thank you very much.